boys. So it finally happened. A company reached out out of the kindness of their heart. It wasn't Bobcat. I would love a, uh, you know, Bobcat, you know, a T series of some sort, you know, maybe a T740, something like that. That'd be sick, Bobcat, if you're watching this. But, uh, yeah, I don't think they're just going to send me a $90,000 piece of equipment. But, I still got reached out to. We're going to find out today whether their product is worth buying or garbage. Let's get into it. Now I will say, I had to do this video a couple times before I figured out how I really wanted to do it. So, Grunt Workwear came out and said, hey, we like what you got going on. We love your Instagram. And uh, we're just curious if you uh, want to try a set of our boots. And I said, hell yeah, bud. Yeah, I do. I like boots. I'm a boot guy. Big boot guy. Big boots and Amish guy. Big boots. Now, a boring ass unboxing just doesn't seem right, you know. Everybody, you know, them videos you watch, they'll, uh... Well, first you're gonna need an X-Acto knife or a box knife to open the product. You don't need that, that's stupid. Why would you do that? All right, so the proper tools, um, you know, you know, the proper tools you wanna go to when uh, somebody is kind enough to reach out to you um, to unbox their thing is, well, fucking not that piece of shit. I don't even know if that put a hole in the box. Surprise. Grunt, that's not a good look. I shouldn't be able to punch a hammer through your box. Okay. What about this guy? Okay, hold on. Bear with me. Brunt. I better not be able to cut through this with... A finger grabber 5,000 you didn't see that proper way whoa dude that's the proper way of uh you know, you know you might as well scuff the boots on the way out of the box that's the way i like to think at least because i mean come on now i'm not gonna walk around with nice boots forever they're gonna get beat up so why not scuff them on the way out of the box you know did pretty good didn't even crease it just ran it over with the car so let's get into the durability test. All 
All right, so if the shoes are as weak as the box, which Bryant, that's pathetic, I should be able to drive a semi over the box and the shoes be, or the boots be perfectly. <laughs> I would hope that, you know, they could withstand, you know, a little bit. Probably wouldn't hurt. We are punching through the leather. See what that did inside there. Not a thing. I think you still got some toes. Uh, not that somebody just, uh, not that you would allow somebody to, you know, bang on your foot. I think I'd punch somebody in their mouth if they were doing that to me. But uh, yeah, I'll say that's a pass. Uh, leather. Jeremy, I'm just kidding. Hmm. Up the ante a little bit. All right, so uh, now we're gonna find out the heaviest thing I could figure out to drop on your foot would probably be that floor jack. Uh, well, I do got a few heavier things, but uh, I'm limited on whether or not I can even pick them up. Now, granted. We're gonna find out if these are stronger than the foot protection I have on right now. I don't know, these are looking pretty good. Well, well you know, take a fatality from this, but. Hmm. Okay. Well, that actually didn't do very much to it. So that's good. Let's try that again. I don't know, uh, oh yeah, that probably hurt the upper part of your foot, I'm sure, but, uh, whoa, big ass spider, get out of here, buddy. Yeah, I don't know, I'd say, uh, hmm, hmm, yeah, you can tell it broke the leather right on the edge of the steel toe. But uh, if you've had multiple pairs of boots, you know, that's uh, usually pretty common if you drop something on your foot that's heavier than fuck. <laughs> see here, bud. Now I'm just gonna lob it at it. <clears throat> Still faring pretty well. Uh, I don't know that it's necessarily waterproof at this point, but then again, neither is the hammer one, I would imagine think all those would be your own fault though not the boot huh let's try something different now uh, how often do you uh, step on something to cut you know cut something you got you got to step on it to hold it in place while you cut you know so uh, that's what we're gonna be uh, uh, pretending to do here basically see what the hell happens i don't know how strong uh i don't remember if these are the composite toe or what but, uh, let's find out oh i would be the composite it actually fared pretty well though huh let's try something different all right so it's hotter than hell out but uh i figure you know because the Miata is the one that even got me this uh, sponsorship, if that's what you'd like to call it, uh, I think it should have a part in this video. So, I think you know where this is going. If you don't know where it's going, it's going towards uh, doing burnouts over a pair of boots just to see, you know. I want to see what happens. Is it going to rip off some of these sick eyelets they got going on? Boot, boot companies need to pay attention to this. 
every boot you get. Um, comes with these rinky dink. Give me a second. I'm not going to show the brand, but. Check this shit out. Not showing the brand, not showing the brand. I hope I ain't showing the brand. No brand bashing. These are my climbers, all right? They got these rinky-dink little fucking... What is that? What is that? A chainsaw tooth could rip that off. What is that? What's going on there? Fuck that. Not gonna show the brand again. This is a whole different brand. It's a brand a lot of people like, too. Uh... What am I paying for here, dude? It's a 200 and some dollar pair of boots. What am I paying for? Brunt. A lot cheaper. Heavy duty eyelets. They're nice. You can run it through or you can run it around. That's sick. I do like that. Uh, that's one thing. I'm not going to say that. Well, I mean, so far, I will say Bront is doing a good job, and that's not because uh, Jeremy reached out to me. That's just because I, I honestly kind of think they're decent so far. So, we'll find out. I mean, I'm going to wear these after doing all of this to them, but uh, we'll find out how good they really are in the uh, future. But uh, it's looking pretty good so far. <sighs> Give me a sec, because I need to get out of this heat for just a pinch. Water the dogs, feed the dogs, and... Uh, yeah, we'll get back into this. All right. Now, this is one that uh, probably a lot of people deal with. And I do not condone this uh, activity among my uh, animals, but... Uh... Whoa. Super professional, brother. Yeah. 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 getting bit <laughs> but this will withstand the test of times if, if it makes it through these guys <laughs> oh yeah go at it bud go at it <laughs> that is so stupid what did i sign up for i didn't sign up for nothing that's a joke but <laughs> brother Chill. Honestly, I could probably just do the whole video on them just chewing up a boot, but what fun would that be? All right, you two. Let's stay here. Get out. Oh, sorry, Luna. Okay, so it appears that they, uh, well, they actually didn't punch through the leather. They just screwed up the uh, shoelaces. Watch it. Watch it. One. <laughs> she stages like she's pulling up to a drag strip. Oh, there they go again. All right, well, I'm just going to leave them up to, uh, you know, doing this boot uh, review. If that's what you want to call it. You done with it? Give me that thing back. I got another clip to hold. <laughs> Don't be chewing no shoes up in the house. Mama whoop my back. Whoop my, uh, well, we won't say the other word. But. Brother, I said what I said. And I met it. doing this is but uh we're probably gonna do a break stand of some sort mind you i only got one uh 
right front brake right now because the old uh, caliper on the driver's side decided to eat itself. So, uh, yeah, I just shoved a good old piece of steel in between there so it can't move and zip tie it to the lower control arm. So I only got one front brake, so it might not do a brake stand because, uh, well, she likes to act like a skid loader in the rear end for uh, reasons that are probably obvious to some of you. But, uh, let's just say I got in a fight with a welder and lost, so... So, overall, what do I think about these boots? Obviously, that ain't, uh, you know, a normal uh, abuse that boots take by any means. Uh, probably a little excessive, and these boots just witnessed, uh, I would like to think, probably a year and a half to two years of abuse in, well, one video. Uh, I mean the bottoms are still clean <laughs> But the boots are uh, pretty well fucked uh, I think it's a good boot Let's check out the insoles and get into our normal review that you would do So right off the bat you get a nice cushiony Insole It is actually super comfortable. I did put these on um I like it. I would say thicken this up. I don't know about a lot of you guys, but uh, I wear through toes a lot, um, unfortunately. And I know they're probably, I'm not a boot specialist, so there probably ain't no good way of going about that. This is a lot thicker than some of the brands I've dealt with before, prior. Sorry, I was looking at my dog, making sure they wouldn't get going towards the road. I like that. That's good. Uh, they make these... They got multiple different styles of boot. These are more of an electrician style or uh, factory worker style boot. I've never had a boot like that. So that's uh, when they reached out, I said that's what I kind of want to try because I do like that moccasin style. Uh, they make it in a soft toe, composite toe, and they make it in a steel toe. No, this isn't an official sponsorship. I'm just saying I like the boot. It's an honest opinion. There are some things I would maybe change a little bit but there really ain't that much. Uh, insulated, non-insulated, you can get both. Um, I do like that it is a slip re or a resistant material on the bottom, that's pretty sick. Again, all my boots are either climbing boots. Uh, I do have some flat, bo well they're not like flat bottom, flat bottoms. Uh, I'm not gonna say the brand. Um, and then I also have my fire boots, which I love my fire boots, I wear them everywhere. Like especially in the winter you'll never see me without my fire boots i love them and they're, they're steel toe they're steel toe rubber boots come on now and they're super insulated so your feet are always warm but uh 
overall, yeah, no, I would say that I'd probably go out and buy a pair of these, at least give them a try, especially for their price point. I might be wrong on this, but I think this is like 130 bucks for a pair of these. And I am gonna wear these, and I am going to give you guys updates. Hope that wasn't pointing at the ground too much there the whole time I was just talking. But I'm not a professional, so if it was, sorry, I'm an asshole. Uh, I don't know. I think it's a pretty nice brand, and I think, uh, you know, they have a little bit of room for, for improvement. But uh, for just being a under two years old of a brand, I think uh, they know what they're doing. And I, I'm not going to go out and tell you to go buy a pair of these boots, but I would say at least check them out. Especially, you know, if you're out there looking for a new boot. I mean, how many pairs of boots have you went through? I know I've been through multiple, and there's a long list of ones I cannot stand. <clears throat> but... I'm willing to give these guys a try. You should too. Hopefully they hold up to what I'm saying here. So, Jeremy, I do want to give you a huge thank you for even reaching out to me. Um, I did, just for those of you wondering, I did reach out to Jeremy and say, hey, after he sent me these boots, I'm going to do a boot beat down, um, which is going to continue because I'm going to wear these. Probably not right now because they're insulated and it's hotter than shit where i live at so yeah i might wear them on a cool night or something but i'm not wearing them when it's uh you know 90 degrees out which is every day out here in the good old uh well you can see the field out back in good old illinois bud so uh yeah overall i think they took that pretty well and no if you're wondering i already know there's going to be a bunch of people in the comment section like they, they were nice enough to send you a boot and you do all that right out of the box mind your business you have no clue what the deal is hater alright so I'll admit when I'm wrong I'm eating my words right now baby takes a man to do that you know Just admit when you're fucking wrong come on now a lot of us uh, have a problem doing that so, I was saying that that needs a little bit more uh, cushion because your toes go through it. You pull this guy out and, uh, you know, I'm fucking obviously an idiot and can't read. Uh, triple layer comfort. Okay. Throw that one on the ground. What's this? Keep me in for a regular fit. d wit. Take me out for a more relaxed fit. Okay. Oh, looks like there's just a normal, uh, it's just in there, sewn in. I'm a dumbass. Alright, had to make sure it's still recording. All jokes aside, guys, uh, I appreciate you checking out this video. If you want, subscribe. I definitely want to hear what you guys have to say in the comments below. Uh, if anybody even says anything at all. Uh, just a young kid here. Well, not really a young kid, but just a, just a small channel out here in the Midwest. Trying to have fun, screw around. Uh, I like hearing what you guys have to say. Uh, if you came here from Instagram, like I always say, uh, I appreciate you a lot, actually. Um, that's sick. Instagram has uh, done well lately, and uh, I can't ask for anything better. Um, there will be more content in the future. Um, I know it sucks, and it is annoying, not only to you that do enjoy watching me, uh, but it is to me as well because I like making content for you guys to watch and be honest I haven't felt the most creative lately so it's kind of why I was going to slow down but slow downs aren't good never stop moving forward <clears throat> that being said hopefully you enjoyed this video Jeremy again thank you 
they're getting shit done and probably ain't wearing a pair of these units. But, uh, <laughs> that was dumb. Yeah, no, I, I, uh, like pumping out content for you guys and it's hard when you, uh, financially can't. Uh, I'm not gonna get into those reasons for that, but, uh, get out there, get to work, and choose Bryant, dude. It's it's literally tools you can wear. That's what the box says right there. Every, your pair, your boots are a tool. Like it, you might as well put them in a toolbox. I'm kidding. Hope to see you guys on the next one. Peace.